So, hello everybody. So, continue at the masters, respective masters. And today is Masamune Shiro. <clears throat> okay, so here I take, for example, study from this uh, environment here, it's from Apple Seed, so classical Masamune Shiro, you can see very interesting, very detailed cyberpunk. Dark or skyfall. What is that? Skyfall, I believe. So here, um, I've been watching Masamune Shiro landscapes. I've been like studied to see how better to understand it to like decode it logic and uh, also how to recreate pipeline to have like a similar kind of process like i don't know exactly his process but i think uh, i got some kind of classical approach so here we start with a perspective grid. Uh, I notice he often have weird horizon line. So somehow maybe it's like he uh, more he is more like a vehicle and uh, uh, like concept artist and. Uh, he very good with the drawings in volume and the complex uh, three-dimensional forms but he little so sloppy with the space so sometimes his uh, horizon line is uh, like very loose let's say <laughs> or he, he just like play with horizon line a lot so I will I will show later. It's like it's like seems it's uh, not in his uh, focus at all. He don't care about making like correct space match. Okay, so I will say somewhere here, and uh, then here is kind of we have like a three vanishing point perspective but uh, so you can see here right like uh, we have this uh, vertical lines y-axis it's uh, tapering down so it's not completely vertical it's a uh, tapering and uh, here we can see like this going to this vanishing point and this one goes to this one at some point. But if we look on these buildings here, they don't follow tapering, they just vertical. So this is why, what I mean also sometimes like uh, it's perfect example of master uh, who make some mistakes. So like a beginner or some other artists they will be very serious about that but here for some reason they don't follow same rules. So let's see. I can say this 
my coordination point will be here and the second vanishing point is somewhere outside picture plane somewhere here maybe anyway let's first make this So here I have some extra space in my sketchbook, so it's convenient to draw vanishing point out outside. So let's see the vertical line. Okay, so I will do like this. So um, again, remind it's a Z axis. Uh, this one, it's X axis and vertical will be y axis and um, so here i will make this classical y axis will be vertical through horizon line and vanishing point and then here i will make this little claim so and then so now we have left and right side and then I will just put middle some kind of intermediate just to make it a gradual change of angle. So this is like a kind of three vanishing point perspective grid not curved is uh, more like straight lines so then when we have perspective grid now um, need to find some general forms because this one is um, this kind of environment very complex and uh, it seems it have so too many possible vanishing points and too many objects to uh, like properly uh, follow in perspective so I need to find some first like focus so for me I was uh, choose to follow this as a main uh, perspective here just because I can see we can see this lines red so we can say okay it's uh, a lot of uh, lines follow in this direction so i choose them to make perspective grid uh, so also because this construction this kind of roof rooftop something have this vert uh, this z lines and this x lines so it's perfect to is used for a ground for a base for foundation on this picture so and then uh, have a lot of curved shapes and some forms are like tilted or little rotated and a lot of like um, carvings and uh, additions yeah. so uh, again start from find some general form so we'll go like from bigger forms from more general forms to smaller forms so it's like before i say um 
trick with this kind of uh, artworks it's to remember it's not only about construction and perspective it's also about abstract design so make us like uh, two dimensionally interesting it's so also part of this so and uh, just like design it's always have this uh, snowman rule and we have like three type three type of um, elements let's say like we have like big element small a middle element and a small element it's like like a details right so detail is will be small element and we can make a lot of small elements and uh, but there um amount of space they use in the picture should be limited like if they're small they're very um condensed but also it's not so many in the picture plane because if it will be too many details it will be like um, like a noise so this kind of rule is uh, big space it's uh, less detail middle space is uh, like middle uh, let's say moderately detailed and the uh, small space small part of space on the picture plane is uh, highly detailed and uh, no, uh, highly rich with uh, small details so here we can also see this I, and I start from big and I will go to small details gradually so it's like a, a iterative kind of approach gives this um, possibility to make complex complex environments or complex detailed pictures so here also so what we have we have uh, like a big forms we have some kind of medium forms and we have small forms right so it's um, this is uh, one aspect second aspect here it's also um, like a levels of uh, like floors we have many levels so it's like we have here on a picture we have building a very low on very low level then if there will be a higher level this goes as a freeway and then will be a, like other freeway on a other higher level and then will be some kind of um, new ground level because there's some people walking here and some parks here and then other building so we have like many many layers and this also kind of this uh, element of this kind of picture so we need to see this uh, layers like in the cake and this not so clear because we don't have 3d model of this view so it's actually not very clear like a construction of this 
and sometimes artists also will um, will not have any clear image of this at all so it's kind of might be a little random but important to keep in mind anyway uh, So we need to keep in mind like uh, which level are you currently working in it's like ground very low level or it's like somewhere in the middle and when you do this like very basic forms it's uh, more easy to follow don't rush into details
Mm-hmm. So we talk. Some kind of this, or some I uh, first like a pencil sketch to have some structure. And um, here you see very important what is difference between just copy from reference and uh, copy with uh, this pipeline when you have this like um, technique approach when you first make perspective grid and then you use uh, master work as a reference now you need to follow your perspective grid first uh, and um, um, use elements of uh, master composition from master like artwork like as ideas or uh, designs solutions all the stuff so a uh, perspective grid give you like foundation for space and uh, composition in your picture who you were which you're working with um, so and this also is like same process when you work on your own picture you make your own picture from imagination or you make your own picture uh, with uh, some support of a, a photo reference or outdoor light uh, observation it's a kind of same approach you need to have some structure underneath you need some to have some uh, like structure foundation on which uh, you build your picture so here you can notice if you compare like closely everything little different 
but uh, because every person is a little different because it must follow my perspective grid which is like slightly different from original picture and uh, so because i know i follow my perspective grid it's also more easy to work because i don't worry i don't worry everything must follow same proportions or exact same angle from original picture it's not concern i don't try to like copy exact picture i want to understand its structure i want to understand its logic i want to understand how i can draw this kind of picture so this is my focus yeah okay so now i can start make lines So it's kind of also a very important thing here, how people formulate a task, like what is your goal, what is your task, it's, it's kind of core of every endeavor, so we can see some, often like this kind of public um, hobby centers where people draw with oil painting and stuff and they copy masterworks or drawing flowers from um, photographs um, what is their goal usually you know, like if i talking about this kind of art centers like uh, for hobby for people after work uh, their goal is to have a meaningful leisure time so they want to feel like um, like they not sit at home watching tv and instead they have some high quality high culture activity and they want to feel themselves like as if their artist like because they sit with the easel with the canvas and paint with oil so this it's their goal it's just to experience and uh, have fun uh, it's kind of okay but it's uh, absolutely not professional kind of interest right so if like uh, if uh, if you are artist who want to work like live on uh, live by making your art or you want to make some awesome stuff yeah then your goals is different and um, how how you how you pronounce, how you kind of formulate this goal for yourself in your mind, it's uh, very essential. Because it's just like clarify mm, kind of This clarity kind of give you more uh, beneficial uh, outcomes, kind of thing. <laughs> no, and it's all, also it's kind of a uh, natural process because we start something without really knowing why we're doing and then more we do it more we clarify for ourselves what is it for us what we really want from it my point here is only just keep in mind how it works so like hope being clear with your goals 
it's kind of also it's same like if you're being more clear like it's like in every level in every level like why you draw in this particular picture why you draw in in general what is art for you what do you want in your life all this stuff my opinion it's uh, always uh, difference there was um, inequality when people really know what they're doing and when when they're not really sure <laughs> and it's it's not mean like you need to know everything about everything but uh, it's correlation there so it's like for example like um, Miyazaki he say in some interview he say he don't want to really understand how his uh, imagination works because he think it will destroy his uh, creative process so so let's say like idea generation for Miyazaki in some uh, for some extent is a mysterious and he don't want to be it too much controlled by his conscience right but i'm sure um, his ability to make high quality work it's highly based on his uh, aware awareness and understanding of a creative process in many other aspects so maybe he like if he make characters subconsciously like how he explain it he say he can really like close eyes and see uh, characters living in their environment but how he draw it how he show it and how he narrate it it's a lot of technical and uh, conscience approaching there you need to know what you're doing and what uh, what is your aim like also Miyazaki he say he always have super clear image of uh, his audience of his like target group he even they have this kind of kindergarten near their office so he sometimes like uh, see like before he have his own uh, children uh, he can see their reaction on cartoons so it's helped him to understand how they will react uh, when he working on a cartoon so he can already like kind of foresee children reaction and uh, now when his children grow up they're adult people <laughs> now so he have um, he goes sometimes to their kindergarten nearby their studio and just to have this better vision of, of uh, of perception maybe of children this kind of stuff so it's very interesting so in one hand he refused to know what he's doing in some parts kind of in his work he don't want to really know how he how he make it but there is many other aspects when he want to be very very accurate kind of to talk and draw so. for me it's my practice it's one of the reasons why I make 
live tutorials. Just want to practice my English. But uh, main goal for me with uh, tutorials, it's uh, very interesting to to explain somebody something. <laughs> And uh, when I try to explain somebody um, what I learned myself, it's helped me learn better. I, I cannot say like uh, I learn while I'm teaching. It's, it's you know it's exaggerated. I learn before I try to teach somebody something. Of course, because I, I need to re understand what I'm talking about. But when I start to explain what I learn, uh, I start to mm, I start to see it on a new levels. I, st I start to kind of discover for myself, like I'm not really know what I'm talking about, or there is some uh, elements of this uh, I should to know better. And I need to clarify because when I talk it as sound silly or not uh, grounded. So I like this kind of process. So it's also it's like a self-education technique. It's to share your knowledge and uh, and maybe even like uh, in my case I, I try not only share I try to find ways how to how to teach them more effectively so people can learn it easier and faster than I learn it
So this is what I told before. We have this building here. And then here is like freeway. This is cars. Freeway. Then cars like this and uh, so this one is like gap it's like how you can see through see this other building maybe it's on the same ground with this one so let's see Also some cars. So it's like when I was first time in Hong Kong, it's really very much like this. <laughs> I was shocked to see like a park on uh, maybe like 14 floor so it's like a building no it's even like yeah it's like it's a hill under this hill have uh, like a parking and a metro and on on this hill it's a huge complex um which is like first floors about like 14 maybe floors it's like whole block then on the 14th floor it's a park so people walk in there i'm on a tree so it's like when you in this park it feels like you're on the ground and then in this 14 level will, will be like um three tall buildings for uh, for people to live kind of possible. so it's very much look like this so many levels so many layers sometimes they interconnected i seen like a um, road going through building like freeway going through big building So work like here, here is some kind of living area with a park.
So here a lot of um, so-called boolean operations when um, different forms intercut. One day I will make tutorials about this. That's very fun, very fun to draw. It's already a little covered in my tutorial about drawing wheels. You can see in my channel. Also there are tutorials for perspective for beginners. So here, for example, we have this situation, right? So it's different from this vanishing point because like different angle. So vanishing point will be here. And, but this is, um, for example, what I mean from beginning, I say like, I don't want to make perspective grid for every vanishing point. Because this is a pretty small element, it's not a major element here, so I just leave it for my freehand drawing. But this because it's like a much larger situation here, so I will I made perspective grid based on it. And when you have at least one grid, it's always easier to draw all other rotations and uh, different angles and i still like right now i can add this vanishing point if i want but i'm not actually needed it. it's pretty clear here how to draw it and also i can make it slightly wrong and nobody will notice because it's so small element here
So here, interesting thing. This thing here, it's uh, look like this. So we have um, this kind of plan. So this plan has this things. So each of these things look like this. And uh, then we have similar kind of plan but going here towards the axis so it's the same let's say it's uh, one and this will be one a one b one c and etc so it's like your copy paste 3d element so let's repeat so it's same same element but now it's copy paste in uh, other direction like this so this is kind of inter interesting more i practice drawing complex perspective and uh, break down st and study master artworks uh, more um, I able to notice this kind of things because you really like you need to understand three-dimensional form kind of you need to understand this form what is actually happening with this in this space because uh, if you don't understand its actual form um, you will not able to show it and uh, all your attempts to draw this thing will look like odd something will be always wrong with it so let's see this stage so and then this one also repeated under here right so you see what happened so oh it's hard to, to draw here so um let me look something like this And he uh, draw same construction on uh, some of uh, other pages in his uh, Apple Seed manga. So I'm actually I'm curious. Like, is there any information? Like he maybe he use 3D to make a kind of concept for his architecture. Um, anybody knows this?
if you know write in the comments So you see what I mean is this one repeat here. Same here. and etc. So it's this kind of construction like this here. So so like this and then it's over here. And then it uh, happens same on both here. This hard to keep up this back and see. Okay. Well, anyway, you will got idea. So, so this is happened here. And this is also interesting. This kind of thing, it's hard to draw at first. It's like feels like I'm broke in your fingers accidentally <laughs> but more you draw it more you confident with this and it's also kind of change brain construction and <laughs> so you able now to draw things like this uh, so it's very very cool practice also kind of core of education it's to build a new neural network and the principle here is sim very simple very general principle first like um, you need to make it at, at least once so th then you kind of make this connection in your like make this network in your head so it's 
it's appear but it's very weak uh, you can forget that after one week you know it's very weak you can forget after one week uh, but then you repeat it you repeat it you concentrate you want to try to make it good and uh, this network became st stronger connections are um, um strange strange it you know so um and it start from this particular task which you train in which you practice but then it's ended with a new network in your brain so in result you have better brain in result you have updated brain which now is more complex now it's have like more ne neuron network in inside so it's kind of very basic technique in education principle it's basic principle of education and also this is how in general you can update you can train and improve your brain and uh, what is also interesting it's uh, it's about anything about any kind of experience so um you have problem let's say with uh, memory so you can mm, practice memorizing things but also if you will do some physical exercise it will also generate some new ne new networks in your brain and this will also help your brain to have better memory because um, because of making exercise building new networks in your brain and uh, now you have more uh, complex brain uh, more um, let's say more vivid because it's working it's engaging this network needs to um, like what's called <clears throat> send impulses around your vast networks all this make your brain like very um, active and uh, have this like neuroplasticity sorry if I use wrong <laughs> if I use wrong words <laughs> anyway maybe even if i use this kind of weird words for this but um principle it's scientific exactly like that so making physical exercises improving brain it's very interesting so even if like you're like make mm, let's say like what's called pull-ups you making pull-ups every day then when you try to make pull-ups in a different way like you change your grip or you try to make pull-up with one hand um, you create a new network in your brain because something you never did before and now your brain will kind of say like okay uh happen in this thing uh, he create new associations network so your body will like remember movement your body will your brain will create new relationships in the network that's why it's absolutely true um only reading books 
not enough. You need uh, real life experience. You need different experience. I mean, like, don't do like destructive experience. It's, <laughs> it's kind of. We can call it different experience, but it's just dumb thing to do. So don't consider it like useful if it's destruct destructive. But a different positive experience, different like um, constructive. Like, let's call experience or practice which improve your adaptiveness kind of so you can better orient orient it in the world have more control so if you do like kind of go into I don't know, grappling or wrestling or BJJ or play basketball, you know, so you improve your body coordination. It's definitely uh, <clears throat> improving, improving networks in the brain. Just don't hit your head. <laughs> Head injuries is not really good. <laughs> Nothing good in that. Sure. But um, there are a lot of thing to do without risk to get any trauma like now I uh, go into boxing and uh, mainly I, no I just do like kind of physical exercise and really feel so good and uh, I love also how much it's good for coordination so you know it's like kind of like to follow all these different kind of movements and uh, have control over your body balance and all this stuff it's really good for brain so we can go to dancing it's martial arts something not for you So here, yeah, so here is kind of this example in the picture, like when we, when we have, uh, let's say, this, it's a big, big shape, this kind of big shape, right? Um, this thing it will be already like like a needle shape and inside this all the small small details it's a small shape so 
big, medium, small, like a snowman, snowman roof. And here again you can see in this building, it's the uh, same thing I told before, so. So like this. So he, uh, he made this kind of buildings very much like he, if he designed some props or weapons. For me it feels like that. Uh, also like me, uh, when I draw outdoors, or when I draw some building from observation or streets, I also use this trick. I will think sometimes like if I draw in like a space shape or uh, some weapon rifle you know like sky fi rifle let's say from half life <laughs> so it just gives us some more heavy metal vibes to this So often I notice like you can draw a street in real life which will uh, look like very boring when you draw it but if you have this intention like I said before like you have this goal you have this approach to bring some energy to it to make it um, vibrant then you start to looking for uh, possible ways how to make it more vibrant. For me, it helped to imagine like a drawing spaceship or uh, some kind of um, not organic living form, uh, like if it's some kind of transformer in the form of street or building. And uh, Currently, like he look like it's just the buildings, but inside he have his uh, like a soul or character. He have his like experience, ideas. Maybe he uh, observing people walking in the street. And. Uh, also like let's say this creature which is a uh, look like a street but he also like um let's say like if a street it's his uh, face which can show his emotions like his inner conditions so how he feel what he think right now how he change like when is a uh, different weather so it's like kind of um, like a mnemonic technique or just like a metaphor. I think it's very cool, very important. Well, not not important, let's say like one of a cool trick for artists. Do something like that, like use imagination. Because this is what makes uh, our work different from anything else. It's uh, what is your thought, what is your thinking process behind your drawing. Because like how to draw in perspective, how to draw correct proportions, all the stuff we can teach monkey to do this stuff. 
but uh, why monkey cannot make great art? Because monkey cannot think um, like monkey cannot dream big, let's say. <laughs> Of course, maybe I don't know. Maybe there's some genius monkey, but I'm sure like majority of monkeys they will just uh, think about food and uh, comfort. So when artists can think about so many stuff, and uh, you can think about. Uh, universe parallel worlds life after death um what if um uh, i don't know like what if my street is alien spaceship what if a tree it's a uh, uh, god from polar parallel universe just any nonsense you start to like, circulate in your mind for fun for like see what where it can can go <laughs> and uh, what you put kind of behind beneath your work it's effect it's affected every time so If you think like if everything in your mind is uh, what most of people have, like you know, like what is um, on uh, all social media and uh, TV uh, flow, like how it's called, streams, kind of right? So it's like. Um, popular mainstream which is like absolutely manipulative and uh, superficial so if you do not have anything more than that something which has come from your narrow private part um, life experience like then you cannot make anything different from everything we see every day so it will be lo lost in this flow of um, mediocre superficial kind of juggling of uh, basic concepts kind of Again, like Miyazaki in this uh, movie documentary, he say, uh, what he say, he, he say for him for inspiration, all reference he need is it's, uh, contained in a period of time when he wake up in the morning, brush his tooth eat breakfast and walk to office so he say like he every time he wants to like unfold it or um, experience it and observe it or, like to find something in it like to he want to ground his uh, work to this kind of I don't know has... so, so it's hard to even <laughs> to say in words but it's like a, a mention it's like he see something very core and essential in this uh, everyday in general but personal for him experience is how he connect with reality and uh, he perceive want to perceive it on a deeper level to feel 
this essence of being alive being alive in a kind of like when um, everything most simple most uh, casual have this like uh, magic of uh, something absolutely special and uh, um, priceless it's similar to the thing when we know like somebody who blind but you can see like somebody cannot see at all and when you like thinking about this it's like i can just be able to see it's uh, so much luck and miracle it's amazing it's amazing how many it's open for you through your eyes how big this world when you can see it it's crazy so same i think this is what he mean uh he say it's like rediscover every time rediscover a value of simple things uh rediscover this understanding that is nothing simple when it's real real it's uh it's uh, most underrated and and uh devalued kind of thing because because people want every time sell us something they want to tell you what what you have is not what you need and it's not enough so it's kind of essential narrative to convince you like um special it's something which is expensive or uh fashionable but miyazaki he don't want to be uh manipulated he is uh, like one of these like true masters want to be connected to reality and remind himself every day like what is real what is essential by focusing his attention to his own experience oh totoro in the chat <laughs> Cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for comments. Oh, my sink is falling down. I'm just gonna I say I will have new nightmares. It's like how my live stream here falling apart. Mm. yeah i was just talking and accidentally say something i want to i will quote myself uh, real is underrated <laughs> Real is underrated. City sketch tutorials. Share and subscribe.
the focus image we remove. So also like to uh, this, yeah, let's say this kind of picture, this kind of super complex sky fi also like uh, we can see it as, a, let's say like a mountains and the hills and canyons. Right? So it's also like just help to uh, simplify. So this will have this kind of different levels right so it can be some hill or rock here but there is also a canyon so um this thing here it's like a canyon you see what i mean so this it's a this level and then here is the cut so um, um it's important to be able to notice it it's important to see this general structure because like usually like when we look when we watch it as a amateurs we will only notice like wow so many details like where we like our attention is scattered it's just like everywhere like you look here you look there you just like uh woven it uh, like wow it's so complex it's impossible to draw it's unbelievable but uh, train yourself to break it down to simple forms so to see where the main surface what levels is here i spend a lot of time to trying to understand this kind of picture <laughs> when you like want when you draw in this kind of picture uh, it's uh, always based on this um, iterative approach when you go from um, big shapes to smaller shapes when you go to, from general form general composition to per more particular nuances and uh, so complexity is growing you uh you you kind of adding complexity to basic uh, foundation don't try to like immediately like explode to a super complex <laughs> uh, image it's never happened this way it's only possible if you draw before this kind of picture so you can like draw complex pictures that you already draw before so you don't need to make anything new or no or you can make some some little change in it but in, it will be very similar to your previous drawing but when you it's new picture it's always gradual um to say it like you gradually make it complex slowly like adding more and more details kind of so like here like a sky okay i put some cloud in the sky because i 
I think this will be nice, <laughs> you know, because then I can put some airplane like in the, in the sky. So you can keep it, make it more detailed. Uh, and uh, of course, more important is to make not only more details, but have control over composition. So uh, to make sure all details arrange beautifully, this is kind of what we need. <coughs> so also interesting thing i notice often um people like uh, will give feedback of artwork uh with uh, absolutely kind of um what kind of absolutely random compliments they will say like wow so many details and it sounds like they're uh, excited by fact this work have many details but no no they don't know why they feel excited they don't know they don't understand what moved they uh, them in this work they don't understand principles of uh, um like how artwork can impact them so most of viewers uh, have this so they uh, so how i see it when people impacted when they feel excited about art artwork they just want to explain for themselves why they so excited so and they will make explanation explanation based on their um, on their understand uh, on their understanding of uh, work quality or art or whatever you know so and this is always amateurish right so they will say like oh like so many detail or, or like oh um, beautiful eyes or color so good and artist will make mistake he will take it as a professional feedback you know like, so like oh they say many details so i need to draw many details every time uh no people just don't know how to make a compliment so they will find just some good uh, they will try to find something good to say and uh, for artists it's absolutely random absolutely random feedback so my point here is uh, actually impact is built by composition it's like what idea you have how you build composition on your picture so um it will like strike people you know and uh, there's a lot of uh, books uh, like uh, framed ink or uh, or you can just copy artist and you try to understand for yourself why it's um, what is cool about it for you and then you will better understand how you affect it and you will understand how you can affect other people in the way you like to do it so yeah maybe somebody will affect it to see like your like i don't know parkour making parkour around but you just no interest in doing this stuff <laughs> so uh you look your specific thing like how to draw cool pictures and why is they're cool from your own experience and uh, study more like what's called like, principles of composition and all this stuff because there are books like where they explain how it works you know like like um, 
dark colors, bright colors, or like round lines, curve lines, or sharp lines, all the stuff. And they kind of bring different atmosphere and um, they can even make your heart beat uh, faster, you know. So for me, like I, I like this kind of energetic compositions. So <clears throat> for me, I always do this analogy. Uh, say um, in the music. Like in, in music, we have, let's say, a song. Alright, this thing fall down. Yeah. Let's see what is going on. Okay, see. So it's like if in a song, let's say, um, let's say, like, Manovar, like, song. So we have, like, lyrics uh, and music. Uh, lyrics have um, have words, have characters, have meaning, um, narr narrative. Also, it have like uh, phonetics. So uh, lyrics itself also have phonetics in it. So it have like this rhythms, uh, some melody kind of quality, and then music. Yeah, music it's totally abstract it's just um, direct impact on our emotions on our body so it's like this like drums like dun, 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 like different kind of drums there's also like melody sound speed so uh musical aspect this it's the uh, same like abstract in uh, visual art so here when we look at this picture okay lyric kind of part narrative part it's what do we look at we look at sky we look at the city we, we can see some helicopter we can see different buildings we can see some look like a very tiny people walking uh, this is like what we tell ourselves it's a um, verbal kind of thing we can start to uh, um, tell about quality of this object we can say oh it's uh, definitely like a fictional future maybe it's other planet or maybe it's like earth somewhere in the future in the story again it's all like what we're telling ourselves and uh, we can say like okay it's very realistic i like yeah, i enjoy how realistic it is all the stuff but big huge parts of this work it's uh, abstract elements it's something um it's just uh, marks on the paper so we have this kind of like we can have like curvature marks we can have angular marks um can be like condensed or more can say like empty space right so it's less lines more lines they're like busy or they're more calm all this abstract uh elements it's like a music in a song and it's like a huge part of a work if you not work on it if you not push to your efforts in in uh, building abstract part of your work then you lost a lot It's like making music or, or like a song you make song without rhythm and uh, melody 
like song without rhythm and melody I don't know it sounds impossible <laughs> it's, it's something we don't call song anymore Okay, let's just, this will be my sky here. So, and um, from my experience, like every time when I put good effort in making abstract um, aspect of my work, and I happy with the uh, with the result. I was like, yeah, so interesting rhythms, so interesting like uh, harmonies, dynamics, or you know this kind of stuff. People will have this wow effect, and they will be impressed. And uh, and I see every time how they can't understand. Uh, why they impressed you know <laughs> they really don't understand it because uh, i made it i made the, this em, um, emotional uh, quality for my work i made it con consciously big part of this being like like made deliberately by me and uh, every time people like no, I'm a cherish viewer. They will like uh, look at this part of work as a accidental part. They will say, you know, like, oh, you're talented because you make something uh, so energetic and vivid. And uh, they don't know it's like this exactly what artists work on. Uh, when you understand how to draw perspective, people and whatever, you not interested anymore to do this only. You know, you you start to more interesting about how to um, give purpose for all this. Like it, it should be cool. <laughs> how to make it sound? and the uh, dance you know and uh, you do this and uh, you also all so much like impressed during process so then you're sure like okay i know it's there i know i put it in the work i see it myself and uh, I kind of can see like other people will be affected too. It's like rock and roll. I mean, you make amazing hit. You know it's great. You know it's a hit. You know it's uh, it's amazing work. So, and you've been studying to be able to make something amazing kind. 
uh, not just to make a building look like a building. You know? <laughs> this is this is important skill, and uh, we want to grow our ability to make more and more sophisticated and complex things. Um, but it's only a tool for us to make cool stuff. It's um, only um, vehicle, not a destination. No, we don't want to buy this car to put in a garage and to show to our friends. We're buying this car to travel, to transport and deliver. and move other others move people here Okay, um, because also my stream gear almost broken, it's a good excuse for me to stop. <laughs> I was planning to draw one more picture, but can do it next time. Almost breaking. Okay, hope uh, it was interesting. So write me in the comments something, what your feedback your ideas or just write anything to support my channel yeah. uh, hello Jaden uh, I love your watching okay you are watching the talk what is my opinion on perspective hmm. This my channel is about perspective, so um, I talk in here mostly on about perspective. So uh, my opinion, like it's uh, perspective, is about uh, drawing space and uh, objects, three dimensional objects in the space. So it's important to remember this. It's like when you you want to make some artwork, comic book, illustration, or painting, whatever. And uh, if you want to make space in it and place stuff in the space, and uh, or you want to draw some object or human or creature or view or spaceship or whatever, you want to make sure it looks like it's have a volume and it's located somewhere so it's like above you or below you it's uh like rotated or stuff like that so all this it's about three dimensions and about space so this what uh, this why we need to learn perspective because perspective techniques, understanding of perspective rules, give you this uh, opportunity, give you this skill to make illusion of space, to work with space. Um, yeah, and make space in your work, right? So it's like, it will be totally under your control. If you want to make flat picture, if you want to make space weird, you will do it on purpose. You will do it be, um, like to make it with certain effect. So you, you can watch some of my previous videos. I have tutorials with uh, foundations about perspective, like where I try. I think it's really good tutorial uh, because I tell there like for beginners very. Uh, a lot of stuff that I learn like 
in 10 years maybe uh, and I try to make it very simple and easy to understand and I think so uh, I make it very clear and simple and uh, also you can watch just my breakdowns um, like different artists for example uh, this um, Masamu Nishiro, Tsutomu Nihi Tsutomu Nihi he is a perfect example of being um, fluent with the space so we can see he have understanding of perspective but he not trying to be like perfectionist with perspective he you know we don't want to sit and make this uh, architecture drafts where we like sit and draw in all these vanishing points with rulers no it's not about this we need to understand all these principles and rules but we can be like rusty like no rusty which which word like we can pretty be pretty loose with all these rules uh, because it's important just we know how it works so then we can here be a little loose here we can be very precise it's up to us but if you don't know if you really don't know uh, you don't have this freedom so it's important to learn perspective until the moment when you like 100 percent sure you understand all of it you it's like in your guts so you you draw all this boring stuff you draw in perspective grids and blah 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 till the moment when you see like okay i will choose when i draw it and where i don't draw it now i know how it works and now i will use it totally well like based on my desire kind of okay what is a good way to practice i seem to be stuck drawing only buildings in perspective that i don't like uh, yeah okay so here is a, also an interesting moment here like if you're not sure how to study like what is the process um you remind yourself where is your destination what is the final result you desire so um you have favorite artists which is represent for you like um, top quality you say like okay they're m my masters like i watch them it's like par par paragon right it's, it's uh, something i wish to be able to draw so sometimes do like me do breakdowns you copy it you copy sometimes you can just copy just redraw because even like blood and copying also good because it's uh, um, boost your uh, your vision you start to see more details you start to see better your like favorite artist work you start to notice more elements of it and you start to better understand what what you like in it what uh, you need uh, to learn to make such work you know so from time to time uh, put your attention on uh, your favorite artists copy from them uh, like you copy him and say like okay when i look directly at his picture and i copy i can do it right so i can i physically i can draw same kind of picture then you have a question why i cannot do it on my own without uh, looking at somebody example right and you will find uh, like okay yeah because i don't understand i'm not able to draw buildings and uh, this kind of sky by scenes from my imagination because i don't have this like visual library or 
I don't know how to use references to implement a reference in my work and whatever whatever you start to um, ask yourself questions based on your final destination on your final goal so um, don't forget it don't forget like um, where you go for what so um, it's very important to kind of give this example of final result for yourself and um, you can be like super copycat at the beginning i see so many uh, like okay like so many no i i've seen some artists i know some artists personally who been just copy other artists work um of course it's fun for them but uh, what you actually see they draw a lot just every day draw 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 and after after you will eventually you will draw your own stuff so the beginning is important to just keep drawing keep asking questions and looking for answers it's um, it's like say with the boat if you want to go to somewhere on a boat first your boat need to move it, so you need to draw every day is like one of the most important things it's like because less you draw longer it will take so draw all the time and uh, to make sure you draw in towards somewhere show yourself as this your favorite artist works like i have so many artists i copy you know like let's see what here for example so this is one of my this kind of mood boards right um so here masamu nishiro like how he draw like like i want to draw this kind of stuff okay so i want to really understand what is it you know what i mean like study it look close in it say what is actually is from what is made for so is there is some kind of shapes how many perspectives here how he drew it copy it just eat it you know and uh, then okay have other master totally different and then i will kind of sometimes i copy it sometimes i just ask myself like what is uh why is he so cool what is great about him like, what is that look and uh no ah uh, no it's no man i forgot oh, i forgot name look uh here is mobius so look like here is example like with a very very few lines and here is example with a very very busy with the lines so i everything what impress me i will keep for myself and try to understand it all this like mind-blowing stuff right so here we can see like big medium small um definitely they use like reference with air, airplane somewhere like a um, book about the jets and then colors all this stuff so this one so if i want to draw something like this okay i just look for this artist work and i know better like epic battlefield okay this will look really cool so you know it's like say like don't try to invent bicycle um here we have like ink in paper right 
and it's so many years cent centuries of uh, monsters mega man masters who did amazing stuff with ink on paper uh, don't try to create everything on your own go and study from them see like um their um, um their ways to use it see their um, kind of you know you, you just discover for yourself how you can use this ink on paper and uh, i mean you will really understand it when you will copy it when you will copy you take ink and you start to draw it so you see like here right so let's say like okay so here some little boy standing in the front of uh, this uh, monster forest and that, like i recently watched this um cartoon like oh, like uh, oh, i forgot like land of scavengers so, so like this like new sky fi cartoon if somebody see it uh, please write in the comments i think like land of scavengers something like that so in there we can see so many stuff inspired by Mobius by this art they have literally just uh repurpose re like how's called um recycle like other masters concepts you know So we see like this something right so i don't try to make it like 100 percent accurate no i want to again it's a complicated a little on this uh, moment of adjustment adjustment here is like when you want to clarify for yourself your goal and you want to follow your goal not be like a scattered all over a place right so here's like what is my goal here i want to um absorb the uh, like the juice kind of of this um masterpiece kind of like what is core what is the essence of this so i tried to uh kind of figure out so and then i say okay again it's something about big medium small so we have this big uh, form then oh okay here i can learn from him how he draws this thing appear from the ground you see because after i can use it in my art if i will draw some crazy stuff moving out from the ground i can draw it this way okay you see so now i can like say okay this kind of stuff then this kind of tree trunk or some kind of cracking and uh, some this kind of stuff right so how he draw it okay noted noted this then i see like uh -huh. so he also makes some with this short marks then there is a shadow on the ground okay also like you know like put in my visual memory put in my library of uh, uh to um, library of a uh, way of application ink this is how i can use ink on paper you know uh, yeah back so again some kind of shadow from here so this right now i learn how to like one way of drawing shadow it's a shape and a pattern inside pattern of a short condensed 
was what is this so this is a shadow um and then okay boy here he will have just like a black shadow so this another way of drawing shadow shape and just make it black i mean seriously this is how it works you see so it's like elements then um uh you see what is interesting here okay we have again trunk comes out from here we again have this broken ground and what happened like this area you see this area like a gap like here this gap okay. inside this gap will be this thing And, and then we have this gap here you see what i can see he put inside this gap here he put something like this no oh, i just i really love to talk about this stuff so you know <laughs> if somebody asking questions it's, it's really interesting so so um then here we have this gap here what he, how he fill it this gap he put so wait a second i'll explain what i mean you see so now this gap it have smaller gap here and we can also we can put something in there And this here again we have gap Tuck. and again here we have a small gap and a medium gap so again what we can it's like totally abstract you see so we keep in mind it's have a real meaning it's like a tree is kind of right or uh, like cactus or whatever some something but when we draw it we're making abstract shapes it's like like this one kind of right so it's just some dance of lines And this can be like a breathtaking, you know, like when you um, combine one thing, uh, it's uh, abstract, abstract, abstract itself is very compelling, it's like, well, it's like, it's, um, it's something which is like directly affect your feelings, it's always like this, um, then let's say, no. narrative so it's something like our brain like to focus at like reason we look at something because it has some meaning so our brain can say like okay yeah i look at here because it has some like helicopter some building something happen so your brain have um, points of attention he have reason to watch it because maybe maybe i can learn how how to survive or how to find money and food or whatever you know so our brain needs this our brain always need reason for um, spending resource so like why i wasting my time for this and he was like because i noticed something you know so this is narrative so we use this uh, narrative also like a hook to grab attention and keep attention in our work and uh, no i mean of course it's like you want to deliver meaning but second aspect of it it's uh, 
Um, it's something like which is grab attention. Um, like people say like eyes, for example. So if you uh, have eyes in a picture, it's something like will always grab people attention. <clears throat> And not only grab, but it's something people will look first at. They will look at eyes. Так, um, abstract narrative um, and the structure. Structure. So structure, it's something like um, um, something like you know, like a fractal or mosaic. So, for some reason, also we love subconsciously we love structures. We love to see like symmetry. We want to see like uh, how things organized, following by some order. So it's let's say some a uh, kind of um, um, yeah like yeah let's say some order so we kind of feel maybe some somehow like we're um, enjoy this feeling of order beneath things so we see they're not just randomly scattered they're actually uh organized and um, uh, even when they look chaotic but organized so we know more this gap between like seemingly hot chaotic thing and being actually organized more is exciting kind of you know it's like wait a second is the carpet uh is uh, have so many elements and all of them actually organize we can see like patterns of the like have some repetitive structure so like, wow like uh, waves in the ocean for example like uh, sometimes you can see like this um kind of repetitive pattern like how wave move so this bring us some um, calm kind of right because it's a um, certain even there even there is kind of somehow like give us some structure or like maybe uh, i just like making it up right now but maybe it's like, <laughs> like come from nature you know when we watch like waves and uh uh, morning and day like no like night and day how they change so it's also like a pattern like a structure right Talk, okay, second. yeah uh, yeah so i want to just finish this so my point is like like i told before about people say sometimes like wow you're so talented wow you have so many details you're like oh this color is so beautiful actually it's always not real reason why they impressed what is really from my vision of this what is really impressed people it's to put all these things together so when your work have a um, interest in abstract when your work have narrative and structure together you know so it's like it's interesting it's uh it's kind of compelling and uh, have a feeling inside it and also organized you know feeling meaning organization kind of. and then it's a masterpiece at least it's really real art it's a real art when it's have meaning a feeling and the structure it, and this what strikes people you know they look like wow so cool <laughs> and this is something we are doing we can do it if we we have control over it it's not random it's not talent you know it's not like like you just discover your talent or like oh let me draw something like wow it's so talented no everybody talented it's just you need to put some work on it and then it's great if you if you're lazy yeah no nobody will know you're talented until you work on it you know <laughs> yeah.
so let's see if it's actually good. Uh, uh, MC Escher, I don't know if Lacker is hip hop. I'm not sure I know who's MC Escher. Toby Shaw, Samuel Knox, On some my own artwork. Uh, oh, okay, my own artwork. I just follow me on Instagram. CP Sketch. Yeah. But right now, if I will go to take some of my drawings. The simple fold down. Oh, ah, okay. So this this I draw in my uh, district. That's like a station. Metro station. Um, and this is like shopping mall. Also with view to metro station. You can see all the stuff in uh, my Instagram. And this I've been drawing from um, IKEA. Some view from a Kia window. And this kind of stuff. So I pretty much a lot inspired by Masamune Shiro and uh, Otomo Nihie and uh, Katsuhiro Otomo. Oh, this is my favorite kind of. So you see, it's, is this what exactly what I talking about? So we have something to look at so for me it's like a poetry um it's like a hoku or I don't know, like a poem let's say so i want to express my mm, my feelings about this moment in my life so i was standing kind of here in the station and i see like a train moving here and i see like a bird sit there and I just love uh, kind of this combination this contrast of uh, the structures and buildings so there we have, have this little like, upper and lower levels this, uh, park. this also my favorite so this like bus station and metro station from other view so it's like a wide angle and this station is so cool so crazy so you can see also train approaching Some nice view. <coughs> ah, MC Escher. Okay, I remember. I what I have somewhere MC Escher. I just not so often watch him. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'm not sure exactly like how. I get like I forget names sometimes of artists. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm from Russia. 
but I have like I'm very mixed, so I'm kind of uh, Ukrainian, Jewish, and Russian at the same time. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad to read my English good enough. Ah, and this one, for example. Um, so this I've been drawn like Japan restaurant in Taipei, and it's like back side of it. So in front it's uh, look like a Japanese building, but on the back side it's look like this, like a Tsutomu Nihi. <laughs> Sometimes it's drawing some more just for practice, kind of. Yeah. It's like drawing a metro. Oh, anyway, yeah, anyway, something like this. <clears throat> so, see more of my work on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Also, write me a, yeah in the same after the live is uh, over. Write me in the comments something. If any, uh, again, if you will have more questions or any requests, yeah, it will be interesting for me. Yeah, now I need to go because really annoying us. I need to hold the camera all the time. Yeah, see you next time, enjoy your day.